A very useful feature of CTrader Algo is the option to draw clouds between lines on the charts. Clouds allow you easily identify areas on the charts, as well as detect change in behaviors in an easy visual way. In this video, we will show you how to add and customize clouds in CTrader indicators. Let's move to the Algo section and add a new indicator. We will name it Bollinger Bands Cloud. In this example, we will develop an indicator that will draw a cloud between the top and bottom bands of a Bollinger Band indicator. Let's start by making our example an overlay indicator. Then we will add the three output lines necessary to draw our Bollinger Bands on the chart. Now let's declare our Bollinger Band indicator. And initialize it. In the calculate method we will populate our lines with the indicator's values. Let's build and add an instance of the indicator. We can see our typical Bollinger Bands indicator on the chart. Let's go back to the code and show how we can add a cloud between the bands. To achieve this we need to add the cloud attribute to our indicator. This attribute instructs the indicator to draw a cloud between the top line and the bottom line. Let's build and check our indicator again. We can see a red cloud between the bands. If we change the top line color, our cloud color will change as well. We will go back to the code and change the attribute to draw a cloud only until the main line. We will build the indicator and see how the cloud has changed. Now we will add a new indicator to demonstrate you can create clouds with varying colors. We will develop a moving average crossover indicator and add a cloud which will be green on uptrends and red on downtrends. We will name our indicator MA Cloud. Let's begin by setting the is overlay property to true and add our cloud attribute. Then let's add our output lines and declare our moving averages. In a similar fashion to the Bollinger Bands indicator, we will initialize our moving averages and pass the result values to our lines so that they are displayed on the chart. Let's build and add an instance. We can see how the cloud colors change on each cross of the moving averages. In this video we have demonstrated how to display clouds on C Trader charts. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.